Okay, so the for this video is one of my next circuit boards. Uh, this is one I made for a friend for his truck. Uh, he's got a trail finder too, and he wants to scale it up as much as possible. So I said I'd make a set of lights for him, and that progressed into a set of auto headlights, which could also be manually switched. So um, quite a useful board. Um, now, it's pretty small on there, but this is the second set I've made. And you probably can't see that on there, but this is using a tiny 2mm square switching regulator. Just at the top left there, you've actually got the inductor, which is bigger than the regulator. And then to the right of that is the regulator, if you can see that. Um, but anyway, the first board I made used a standard linear regulator, and dropping 6 volts down to whatever it needed, plus the current load from all the lights, it actually got quite warm. Whereas this regulator here can handle an amp we have no problems and so far I've got it pulling mm, about 600 milliamps just over and it doesn't even break a sweat so I'm actually quite impressed by this considering how hard it was to solder and get on the board and get the um, solder paste on there and position it I thought it was going to be a fail but anyway um, what I've got at the moment is my F650 body shell and each of the front light buckets there I've got one LED as a headlamp one as a spot, and then a spotlight below that on both sides. Uh, just got some tiny SMD LEDs for the time being as marker lights. Uh, I'm going to remake those at a later date when I've got these supplies to make some lenses so I can do the front as well. Um, not just on my truck, but on my friends. But I'm going to do some custom front lenses for that that will hold the two LEDs plus a side marker LED, uh, as well as lenses for those that will go through the body and just a couple of red ones in the rear. Now when I redesigned this board I changed the whole code for it as well. Uh, originally with all of my board designs there was an absolute basic programming menu that the end user would go through just to set it up for what switch type they were looking for and what I'd done with this I decided to completely do away with that um, for good and just make everything plug and play and the end result is a code that actually works so every time you turn the module on what it does first it looks at your receiver channel signal makes a note of that and then decides based on that signal whether you're using from a two position channel or a three position and it does that based on uh, the expected signal that it expects to see based on how those two different channel types rest when they're not being pressed to activate it so for the time being I'm using my hacked DX3E with my true 3 pos switch which is um, holds position when you're pushing the button up releases when you let go same in both operations uh, I did a video for this uh, and it's in my playlist of all my other videos done uh, but this defaults when you turn it on to auto lights so um, and I'm using uh, PWM to have them dim so the two front Headlights will come on just dim to give a daytime running lights function Then the next step up from that is a little bit brighter with all of your body marker lights and rear lights And then up from that would be um, spotlights which is the headlight LEDs on their full brightness All the body lights plus anything that's plugged in as an auxiliary spotlight As I said any time you can override from the channel so you have auto lights push up again turns them all off up one DRLs only again for body lights and low beams and again for high beams body lights and spotlights so not just being auto headlights they also give you the flexibility of having them set in whatever mode you want so um, I shall get this all turned on and we'll give you a show and uh, I've got a light sensor up the top there it's just mounted in the top for now because I've got all my window mask on for when I eventually paste, uh, paint it but that will eventually go in the front and I probably will just have to tweak the settings on it a bit more but um, the way this works is as soon as you go into darkness below a certain level if it's enough for every single light including the spotlights they're instantly on and the spotlights come back off below a certain level but leave everything else on but to go from full low beams and body lights down to DRLs there's about a 15 second delay so that if you're constantly going in and out between light and dark, light and dark, then it won't be switching from DRLs to low beams, DRLs to low beams. It will wait for that time period and then see what's going on. And in between that time period, if the light level does change constantly and it's always resetting that 15 second counter, 
to wait until it sees a period where the um, ADC level from the light sensing resistor there doesn't change and then after the counter's finished counting the 15 time then it will turn off the same as it does in your car if you've got automatic headlights in your car you're driving around at night time you're constantly going under bright street lamps or high car beam lights coming towards you they don't switch on and off on and off because they're constantly monitoring what's going on with the sensor reading values and deciding if you're actually in daylight or you know, if they should stay on so um, my son's being a bit noisy in the background there uh, okay so I'll turn these on and uh, if I had them plugged in So firstly it's um, transmitter we've got off, just daytime running lights, low beams, markers and the back ones you can see for a clear body there and if I get up again and that's all of our spotlights and now on again and there you go low beams, body lights, DRLs, off and down again and this is now the auto headlight. So there's enough light level in here that it sees that you just need DRLs. So if I go and hover my hand over the top, and you see it goes low beams, markers, and rear lights. Oh. The spots won't come on because there's not enough of a light drop. Oh, there goes the camera for it to see that as a spotlight sneak coming on. And okay, focus again. And if I hit both of these lights off. You see that the spotlights come on and off with the light. And then if we just uh, wait for a little bit for the light level. I've still got, to, still got to refine and tweak the code just a little bit more just before I uh, give these back to him and let him have fun putting them in his truck. And there you go. So, still some more tweaking to do, but yeah, it's, it's one less thing to even need an aux channel to switch on the model or just to be able to put it in auto mode and have it just do its thing as and when you drive around. It looks pretty good and overall he is uh, more than impressed with it. So um, yeah, that's, that's that for now, my latest uh, board, uh, Auto Headlights.